hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a movie title animation inside of hit film express so to get started you need to download some assets the link will be in the description download them and import them inside hit film then you're going to start off by creating a new composite shot and call it text for the duration let's go with uh, six seconds long 90 20 10 80 30 fps click on ok I'm going to create a new text layer. So I'm going to type in my text and it's too small. So I'm going to just increase the font size like so and go to layout and align it in the center. I'm going to highlight the very first letter and increase the font size like that. I'm going to just duplicate this or you can rename this layer as well. So let's just do that first. So just rename this to Dumbledore. And now you can just duplicate this layer and rename this as well. So you can just, the next word that I'm going to type in is secrets. So I'm going to just rename it to that layer i wish it um, could have automatically renamed that layer based on the text that you're writing uh, but that's not the case uh, we have to manually do that for now so just type in that word over here so i'm going to type in secrets and just reduce the font size like so and maybe move it to the right a little bit over here so just duplicate it one more time and let's type in our third word over here which is in my case is off and i'm going to just put it on the right side of the text uh, reduce the size and make it a little bit more smaller and put it on the right side of the text so i'm going to keep repeating this process until i have all of my text laid out correctly i'm going to again duplicate it rename the layer and just move it around and just place it where i want to place it since this process is going to take some time so i'm going to just fast forward this bit and i'll be right back so i have my text right over here i'm going to just create a simple underline under my text fantastic beast text over here so i'm going to create a new plain layer i'm going to call this line and let's give it a white color and click on ok just double click on this icon rectangle mask to create a mask around your layer and i'm going to go to transform unlink the scale and on the y i'm going to set the value to 0.2 percent reduce the scale and i'm just going to position it under my text right over here and just you know reduce the scale and keep on changing the values till you have it correct so i think that looks fine and now i can see that uh, this text is not quite in the center so i'm just going to select everything over here and just with the selection tool i can just put it right in the center like so okay now what we can do next is we will create a little bit of chisel text effect and for that we will use parallax effect and in order to use the parallax effect we need to create a height map as well so basically we'll create a new composite shot and call it height map and we're going to drag in this text comp inside this height map comp and we are going to apply an effect called matte cleaner and increase the feather strength click on this view matte checkbox so you can see it a bit more clearly so something like that so you'll see that we have these um, little edges and that's what we are looking for you can also maybe smoothen that a little bit to maybe two pixels all right cool now we can create a new comp and um, let's call this parallax I'm going to bring in the height map comp and the text comp inside this parallax comp. So let's just disable the height map. Click on this layer visibility icon to hide it. And uh, the effect that we are going to use is parallax. Put it on the text composite. Expand it and set the height map to the height map. And you can see that nothing really happens. And that is because we need to add a new light. And now, as you can see, we have this uh, cool chisel text effect. Now we can go to our parallax over here and maybe apply a little bit of blur to the height map. 
to have a more smoother looking texture. And you can also click on the invert map option. And you can play around with the depth as well. All right, so I'm going to set this to around, I guess, 40 ish. I think that looks pretty fine to me. And uh, now what we can do is we can animate the new light. So let's just do that. Go to transform off the light and create a keyframe on position. Set it to the right side at the first frame, move to the very end. Now we can just move it to the left. Okay, so we have a simple animation like this. And now in this comp, we can also go to our text composite shot, transform, go to scale, create a keyframe and set this to Let's start this at 80, uh, move forward and just zoom in like so. Okay, so we have a simple scale animation as well. Maybe 80 is too much, set this to 90. Uh, so we have a simple zoom in animation. And since uh, we are doing a lot of animation in this comp, uh, it's better if we rename this to animation and that is a much better name. Let's create a new comp. This will be our final comp or the render comp. And we're going to bring in our animation comp inside the render comp. Drag in the background, put it under the animation comp. Now we'll drag in our smoke and put it in between these two layers. Right click, go to blend and set that to soft light. All right now we can drag in our particles, put it at the top. Right click, blend, set that to add. And now we have this nice text animation. All right, so you can keep it as it is or you can further create simple fade animation so let's go to our animation comp with keyframe and opacity set this to zero and move forward in time and set this to 100 so we have a fade in animation alternatively what you can do is you can also go to your text comp over here and you can create your opacity animation over here so i can for example let's start with the text at the bottom Transform, Opacity, Create a Keyframe, set this to 0, move 10 frames forward and set this to 100. So we'll have a simple Opacity Keyframe and I can apply this on all these layers. So I can copy this layer, right click, click on Copy. I'm going to select all of these layers. I'm going to hit Control Shift V. I'm only going to apply the Opacity, so I'm going to uncheck Position and click on Paste. So all of these layers will have the Opacity animation and now i can simply move these layers and just stagger them like so and now your text layers will appear one after the other and now if you go to your render comp you will have a nice animation over here as well but i'm just going to undo this and finally you can also which is completely optional you can go to your presets film looks and you have auto sci-fi lens flares applied on your animation comp and you can just uh, lower down the intensity on this and uh, see how that looks so if you really like it just keep it if not then you can just uh, disable this by clicking on this checkbox Right, so that is pretty much it. That's how you can create movie title animation inside of it Film Express. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.